this is Mike Check 95 and if you enjoyed this video before I get into it, like, share, subscribe, join the madness that is Mike Check Productions. There's a Discord link down below. Click on show more and you will find it along with our links to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Come talk to us. I am open for new ideas. This is a variety channel. We're up for it. The last video I did was the meh top 10 list of last year's films. Now we're going to be talking about the bad of last year's reviewed films of 2021. Number 10 goes to Godzilla 1998. To be short and sweet, Godzilla 1998 was boring and when we paused to take a break we were thinking, oh shit, maybe we're almost near the end of the film. No, we had a whole other fucking hour to go through it. I had to drink a couple drinks of alcohol just to get through this movie and that's never a good sign. Number nine goes to Behind the Sightings, a film that I was superbly let down upon because this was supposed to be a found footage like film about the events of the clown apocalypse and they had to go back and rewrite everything because they tried to base it off a true event and the family of the person who got killed were offended, which I get it, 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 I get it. I'm not trying to get on anyone's bad uh, vibe on that. I feel like the reshoots may have hurt the film a lot, and the fact that the film was pushed back so far. Because if this film would have came out the year after, it probably would have done so much better. But this was so many years too late that everyone kind of forgot about the clown apocalypse and they thought this was, this was just another stupid movie that someone made up. And it was just horrible. It was so goddamn horrible. And it was a found footage horror film. The two things you can fuck up the most. But it's still like my number three most viewed video on my channel. Whoop de doo. Number eight goes to Thanks Killing. I have two reviews of this film on my channel. There is the review from 2018, and then there is the review from last year. I fucking hate Thanksgiving, but there are seven other films on this list that I hate so much more. It's just dumb. It's fucking stupid. Why would you waste your time watching this fucking movie? Number seven goes to Killing Ground. Killing Ground, granted, Thanksgiving is such a fucking dumb movie. Killing Ground was just like, oh, there was a, so, there, Killing Ground was irritatingly fucking bad. Thanks Killing was just stupid bad. Killing Ground was irritatingly dumb. Because there were so many things that were written in the goddamn script of this film. And it didn't make sense why these people in this film acted out the scenes like how they were. Because they wouldn't be acting out like this in real life. I know it's a big hit in Australia. Apparently. What's the big hit about it, Australia? I don't know, it's just... There's a lot of stupid decisions done in that film, and I'm... Mm, it's bad. Number six is The Rage. This is the second low-budget film on this top ten list that was so fucking stupidly dumb. It is surprisingly a lot dumber than Thanks Killing. It is also theoretically said on this channel that The Rage is a prequel to Thanks Killing. Actually, no, it's a sequel to Thanks Killing because the vultures in this film look like the goddamn turkey in, in fucking Thanks Killing. I bet 95% of the budget went to fucking Mushroom Head. Number five goes to Resident Evil The Final Chapter. This fucking series fucking drove my brain to the edge of fucking insanity because of how so much shit didn't make any sense after this point because not only did this film retcon the original trilogy not only did this film retcon the last two films that were made the film retconned itself in the middle of the movie it retconned itself three times one movie and one of the times right in the middle of it how the fuck do you do that and it's just so aggrav aggravating and so bad it makes me want to bash my brains in and when a movie makes me want to bash my brains in it's bad 
Number four goes to Aliens vs. Predator Requiem or AVPR. It is probably well documented throughout the entire internet why this film is so fucking dumb. You can't see anything. It looks like a found footage film when it's not. It doesn't make any sense. It takes place right after the events of the first one, but it also takes place six months after the events of the first one. Which that doesn't make any sense. And the only cool part is the idea of the Predalien and Wolf. The one individual predator trying to kill them all. It's no. How is this film rated R? Number three goes to the movie that actually fucking made me slam my head into the ground and go take a fucking shot of goddamn whiskey. Number three goes to Lamageddon. There is a reason why Lamageddon is not number three is because if you watch it a second time, you know what's going to happen. So it's not that bad. Because you go back and you actually start laughing at the parts. First time watching it, this is the longest hour of your life that you're ever going to have. And you're never going to get back. So good luck with that. Number two goes to the absolute worst fucking Resident Evil film I have ever seen in my life. It is a film that I have mentally shut down at the same point of the movie both times I've seen this and it's just bat shit insane crazy Resident Evil fast and furious fucking science lab bullshit that shouldn't exist this list of movies I didn't know that talking about these bad movies would make me this angry <laughs> because it's bringing back so many scars but there was one film on this list that I hate more than any of the other movies. Just because I say this film is not a Friday the 13th film in my eyes. Number one goes to Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. Long story short, if this film was just a sci-fi horror movie with no connection to Jason Voorhees or Crystal Lake or Friday the 13th, no relevancy to any of that at all. It was his own idea with its own story, own villains, own heroes, original plot. It would probably be a really good movie. But just the fact that there are elements of Jason in this after watching 8 before this makes me so fucking angry that it's even considered a Jason movie. Jason Goes to Hell is not a Jason movie. And there you have it. I'm done talking about these movies. If you've enjoyed my little rage fit that I had about these bad films, please like, share, subscribe, join the madness. There's a Discord link down here in the description box down below. There's also links to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you want to follow us on there and talk to us and share some ideas, share your thoughts and all that fun stuff. This is Mike Check 95 and I'm getting out of here on these bad movies. Signing up. Thank <laughs> you.